Peace, family, and welcome to this edition of the Draped Maniac Podcast. This is Ayapo Yapa, the HDIC, that is, the head draped maniac in charge. And we're here to have conversations on how to get off this plantation. This Draped Maniac Podcast is going to be fairly brief. In these podcasts, I'm typically doing a monologue or giving and explaining my views when it comes to our place as black people within a system that was not only designed to keep our people at the bottom, but needs by necessity for our people to stay at the bottom of it to continue to work. Instead of giving facts and figures today, I'm going to challenge you who are listening, if you are still a true believer, to explain to me what I'm missing or where I'm on Excuse me. I, I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to make sure that you listeners are listening to the Drape Domaniac podcast on doiamedia.com. You are, right? I'm going to pose 10 questions. You can respond to them if you wish, or you can just ponder them yourself. But most of all, take the time to think about your answers and do research Don't just take mine or anyone else's word for anything. You do the research. You do the legwork. You crack open the books. You vet your sources. And most of all, have it made up in your mind before you even start to do your research that you're willing to go wherever the truth takes you. All of these questions pertain to our condition in relationship to this system. Question one, do black people really have any kind of power within this present system? Question two, if so, what is that power and from where does it come? If not, how can we achieve power? Question three, can we truly, in the face of history, depend upon quote-unquote allies to assist our people in achieving social, political, and economic equality. Question four, what is the motivation for those who are in control of and who benefit from this system to somehow upend it for the benefit of a people they have proven historically they hate and see as inferior to them? Question five, When someone has the kind of advantage that those who benefit from this system have, why would they give up that advantage to play on a quote-unquote level playing field with a group who has proven they can outperform them in nearly every situation? Question 6. For those who live by the creed coined by Frederick Douglass, power concedes nothing without a demand. Ironically, The demand itself must have power behind it. I would even argue that if you have power enough to make the demand, you don't actually need to make it. I digress. Question six again. When we make demands, how do we respond when they say, or else what? Question seven. Is our or else what grounded in reality? And if so, Based upon what? Question 8. Within this present system, and with our present numbers in the U.S., what is our or else what? And the answer needs to be backed up with history and with stats. Question 9. Based upon the way this country, the U.S., was founded and what it continues to do, both domestically and abroad, Do you really want to be invested in and associated with it? Question 10. What, if any, alternatives are there to continuing to try to achieve equality within this present system in which we have been forced? Those are my 10 questions to ponder. You can answer some of them or all of them as replies, or you can just work them out for yourself and not reply at all. In the next Drape the Maniac podcast, I'll be presenting you with my answers, all of which, if you've listened to my podcast for any amount of time, will probably be predictable. So for now, 
Thank you for listening to this edition of the Drake the Maniac Podcast. This is Ayapo Yapa, the HDIC, that is, the head drapedomaniac in charge, wishing you peace and blessings, sanity, safety, and security through separation. And until this same time next week, I'll see you on the run. And thank you again for listening to the Drapedomaniac Podcast. Tune in next week at doiamedia.com. D-O-E-A-I-A-M-E-D-I-A dot C-O-M. And again, we'll catch you on the run. Peace.